Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. In this video, I'll be going over Ascend Combat Framework in Unreal Engine 5, and we're going to be talking about the AI spawners in patrolling. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and let's get started. The first thing we're going to be doing is adding a nav mesh to our map. If you're using the full sample map, it's already there, and it will be called the nav mesh bounds volume, and it should cover your whole your whole map. So the next thing we're going to be doing is adding our ACF AI group spawner to the world. So it's already a ready-made blueprint. You can actually right click and duplicate if you want and make multiple if you want to reuse them. But for this example, I'm just going to be dragging this one out. Now a few things that you're going to notice here is this little spline. And this is pretty much going to be the path that it can walk around, for example, if it's going to patrol. And in my case, I'm just going to expand it to, I guess I'll just have them patrol this room. So I'll put one in this corner. And you can also adjust these sides to just kind of turn it. You'll see the spline start angling a bit. And if you click on one of the points and hold Alt while dragging out, hold Alt first and then just drag with your arrow, you'll see it kind of create more points along the way and extend the patrol path. I'll put one here over here because there's some rocks in the way there and then i'll hold i'll click alt and drag and so on and this is pretty good to me yeah so it's okay if it's above but in order to adjust your spawners you'll click here where it says ai group component and you'll see these these diamonds that'll say spawn points and you can just kind of manually move it around to see where you're gonna spawn it so i'll just spawn them on random corners make sure it doesn't go in the wall actually and now the next thing we're going to have to do is we'll go through some of the settings together. So I'll scroll down. I'll click over here, ATF AI group spawner, scroll down a bit. So under the spawn tag, I'm just going to do, I'll do a max of five, can spawn multiple times. And the AIs to spawn will determine what monsters or enemies or companions you can spawn. And in this case, I'll do the skeletons that I created in the last video. So I'll do a skeleton slave and I'll do two. And then I will do the Skelly Knight or a Skelly Soldier, and I'll just do one of these guys. So they'll spawn randomly on these diamonds, and they'll spawn multiple times throughout the game. And now another thing I want to do is I don't want to fight them just yet. I'm going to set them to Team 1 because by default, you're on Team 1. And I just want to show you guys how they patrol this, this spline. And now I want to hit Spawn on Begin Play, just so that as soon as I click Play, they'll automatically all be there. So now I'll full screen and I'll go ahead and click play. And you'll see that they just start spawning and patrolling this little area. So this is pretty useful for any games who want to make your dungeon seem a bit more dangerous and more lively. You don't just kind of want groups waiting at one point or another. And now what I'm going to do is actually just show you guys exactly how this trolling can go. So I'm actually going to make this a bit longer. I'm just going to make sure that it's above ground level, right? It doesn't need to be completely aligned with the ground. Luckily, the AIs are generally pretty smart to navigate where they need to go. It'll just kind of be like the ballpark of an area of where they need to patrol to. So now when I hit play, so now since I moved my splines to be up here, you'll kind of see them start <laughs> exploring this area. I'll, I'll now I'll change the team that they're on and just do team two. For example, I'll hit save and I'll hit play. And now what's going to happen is, oh, they already see me. Is yeah, they'll just start booking it if I go near them. And yeah, that's exactly how you pretty much set up the group spawners in Ascent Combat Framework. It's a really handy plugin to save thousands of hours on Unreal Engine. Basically like a really optimized RPG maker. I'll be making tutorials on whatever you guys want. Like and subscribe. Comment what you want me to make a tutorial on next. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.